something because what this does is I was 40 and a half already having serious problems with my lupus and hypopituitary issues. And yet I went a Korean top team and I hadn't been sparring was living in Japan. And I take on two tall, huge, younger, athletic, more experienced fighters that are like six, four and giants. And I'm shy of five eleven. So what this really proved was the last kind of beta testing of my Neo striking cluster fighting system as uh, outside kick. And now in my switch punch series, switch punch, uppercut, left hand, switch punch, low kick. And then next should be switch punch liver kick. But basically, I pull off the entire first round of my Neo striking cluster fighting system. There it was. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman again, catchyoutube.com, learning cluster number two in my advanced MMA Neo striking system. After 35 years of martial arts, four black belts, 20 years training with a top pro fighters around the world, I'm finally reviewing my advanced MMA Neo striking or cluster fighting system, and here is cluster two. As always, smash that like button, get down there in the comments, subscribe, and do all that good stuff for me, and let me know what you think. Thanks. All right, guys, cluster number two. So we've already done cluster number one, our distance reset cluster, and now we're going into cluster number two in my MMA Neo striking system, advanced MMA Neo striking or cluster fighting system. All right, so we just kept them at distance, and now we're going to go back in on the guy. But again, it's timing, it's distance, it's timing, it's footwork. I set him up for it, and just before the guy ever thinks, I was just about to, I was just about to, just as he sets his lead foot, you should be blasting the guy. Let him move in and hit himself. Okay. There we go. See, and he even, even he even knows what he was gonna get hit with, and I hit him clean pretty much with all that. And we've practiced before. And we're gonna do it again. Okay. So let me pretend, guys, we're gonna finish the, the distance cluster. Knee kick, knee kick, double jab, circle, 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 up jab, calf kick, fuck his leg. Then I move, <laughs> boom, then I move, whoop, bam, free leg kick. Now he's worried about the leg kick, whoop, boom, liver kick. Okay, and usually a liver kick lands. So that is the next cluster, it's only three in this one. That is cluster number two. Five versus Yoshihiro Akiyama, as I've talked about. Shift punch this, and I would do very good at training the gym. Some shifting combinations. You see, my, they're gonna hit, but shifting and moving, so he can't get a beat on my timing for the takedown. He's in white and red. I land a couple punches and a back hammer again. All right, guys, let me teach that a little bit. This is your switch punch cluster, your switch punch cluster or lead Superman, whatever you want to call it, okay? The first time to learn it, guys, what you do is you pick up and you switch. Some people have a big, big trouble learning this one. You, so you pick, to begin with, you, you don't have to do this all the time, but you, to begin with, learn to pick up, put your weight on the back like Scarecrow, uh, Daniel Sun style, and switch. Now when you switch, you go forward, your distance. So if you're practicing on the line, you switch and you go forward. And you see the second and the third, I'm kicking so the distance is even greater. I do a bigger switch. But you always want to go forward so your body weight goes into the strike. It's really a switch cross. It's not a lead Superman, not a lead Superman jab like people say, because it's not a jab. Jab doesn't have your body weight in full rotation. It's a cross, because now I switch and I'm deep. In a southpaw, it's a basically a switch left cross. So I go up and I switch. That was close distance, which the first combo kind of is. The, the kicking combos are a little bit farther. So you lift your leg a little bit higher and you switch. The first person to ever teach me how to do this was one of the top jiu-jitsu guys in the world. We used to spar Muay Thai right after one summer. Um, man, I can't remember his name right now. One of the top jiu-jitsu guys was thinking about going to MMA. He's the one who actually showed me that. So, I came up with this combo. I switch cross, and they catch that a lot of times, but then this sneaky uppercut lands 
and the second left cross lands. So it's a three punch combo. I go switch, cross, cross, switch, uppercut, cross. Boom, boom, boom. And I can shift forward with my body weight each time. Boom, step, step. So it's shifting, shifting, shifting. Okay? So move back kind of as a hip. One, two, three. Okay? Now, next, guys, so that's from this distance. Now I'm gonna take a step back, draw him in, attack by drawing. Go back. So once we're at this distance is when I do the next one. I lift this farther, I switch, and I know that's not gonna hit because that's punch distance. But that's a perfect shuffle low kick that I land. Even if he moves backwards a little bit, he tends to. So it's time to kind of step into it, and you're gonna move back just a little bit, just a little bit, come forward. Okay, move forward, punch play. Okay. Shin right across, chop down on that leg. Now, if you, because guys, he just got blasted with three punches in the face. If I do the same switch punch, don't you think he's gonna cover like this? Or cover like this or bring his hands up? Worried about his chin if that uppercut a second cross with my body weight shifting forward, forward pressure blasted him. Even if he half blocked and it knocked him like this, knocked him around to stabilize his base. If I blast his leg, Next, so that's easy to blast his leg next because he's up here instead of down here. A cluster is a combination that sets up the next combination. And now that I blasted his leg, circle out again, guys, we're not gonna do that, but we circle out again. And now I do the same thing. I lift a little bit and I go a little bit farther forward. The first one could be this close, like a spear, like a fencer. Bam, I'm going into him. Fitzsimmons shift, yes, was used in boxing a long time ago. I go here, I shift, ooh. Liver kick, sorry. Exhale, exhale. Look, here, the liver kick follows the punch. So, this is almost like a kettlebell or a fishing weight, Yagi Sun style. Okay, this goes here, and then the kick follows. So, slowly it's punch, kick. And I know I'm at a distance where the punch doesn't land, but he doesn't because he's moving in. So, I attack by drawing. I circle back, out, and right, away from his power hand. And then I set it up so he just, this just misses, but it's enough in front of his face to worry him here. And this opens up because he was worried about this. So, ha, 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 low kick, circle, 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 ha, ha, liver kick. There's your cluster number two, and you'll see real fight footage. And here, welcome to sparring. Switch punch uppercut across, all shifting. Nice angle switches. He does that a couple times here. Gets a nice angle switch shift to land from the outside gate. Both I parried. Check that out. Liver kick lands. Nice angle shift there. That liver kick lands. Cross uppercut back hammer. Uh, now, guys, this was after or towards the end of him doing his military service for a couple years. And then with UFC's Islam Makhachev, cross shift cross there. Switch punch series now. Switch punch uppercut left hand there. So again, a bit with the toes there. Switch punch series again. Switch punch low kick. GSP style lands. Looks like a shift punch to an overhand lay. 16 and 4 and 1. Switch punch, switch punch. Or... Lands there, a shift punch, shift punch there, a switch punch, shift punch there.